Despite their impressive stature, giraffes possess relatively short bodies supported by long, slender legs, thanks to a specialized bone structure that adeptly bears their massive frame. While their appearance has captivated human imagination, giraffes can unleash powerful blows in battles between competing males, swinging their necks with horned skulls to create impactful sounds audible from great distances. However, behind the enchanting facade lies a darker reality, as giraffes, when threatened, can exhibit a dangerous side, as witnessed in these three gripping stories of giraffe attacks. In October 2022, tragedy struck in the serene landscapes of Kulini Game Park, South Africa. The Panos family, residing in this picturesque wildlife haven, experienced a heart-wrenching incident that forever altered the course of their lives. The Game Park, a popular destination for families seeking an immersive nature experience, became the backdrop for an unforeseen and devastating event. Nicole Panos, a 25-year-old mother, her husband Jason, and their two children, Caden, a four-year-old boy, and Kaya, a one-year-old toddler, lived on site at the family business. In this luxury game park, families worldwide enjoy stays in lodges surrounded by the wonders of nature. The Panos family reveled in the beauty of their surroundings, living just a short walk away from Nicole's parents' home. Nicole, an active family nature training business member, wore multiple hats, marine facilitator, student mentor, and aspiring birth doula. On that fateful day in October, the family embraced a lazy morning playing together and basking in the joys of familial bonding. As they strolled through the bush scrub and across a sandy clearing, little did they know that their lives were about to take a tragic turn. In the distance, Nicole spotted a male and a female giraffe. The female, known to have recently given birth, captured Nicole's attention. However, there was an unsettling absence. The calf was nowhere in sight. The curious giraffe observed the Panos family from a distance, which was not unusual in this wildlife-rich environment. The atmosphere shifted abruptly when, out of nowhere, the female giraffe charged towards them. Nicole, holding Kaya in her arms and Caden walking ahead, found themselves facing an unexpected and life-threatening situation. With its head down and running at full speed, the giraffe bore down on them. Drawing on her instincts to protect her children, Nicole screamed at Caden to run while she stood her ground with Kaya in her arms. The giraffe's charge was swift and brutal. Nicole felt a powerful impact on her back and everything went black. The giraffe had kicked her, and the world around her blurred into unconsciousness. When Nicole regained consciousness, she heard Caden's screams and saw the giraffe moving towards him. In a desperate attempt to shield Kaya, Nicole fought to keep her body on top of her daughter. The giraffe, momentarily diverted, turned back towards Caden, who had curled up in the sand to protect himself. Helpless and paralyzed, Nicole could only watch as the giraffe approached her son. The terrifying sequence of events unfolded, leaving the family shattered and forever changed. The attack took a tragic toll. Kaya suffered a fatal head injury, and Caden, though alive, bore the scars of the ordeal with skull fractures. This was the beginning of a nightmare that no family could ever anticipate. The once idyllic Kulini game park became a site of unimaginable grief, and the Panos family's world was irreversibly shattered. The events of that October day would continue to haunt them, leaving scars that extended beyond the physical injuries inflicted by the giraffe's charge. Amidst the chaos and tragedy, the giraffe continued its charge, moving back towards Nicole, who was still paralyzed and incapacitated. In the harrowing moments that followed, Nicole's son, Caden, curled up in the sand and became a vulnerable target for the agitated animal. The giraffe's towering figure loomed over the defenseless Caden, who in a survival instinct, had sought refuge in a protective fetal position. The massive creature, driven by instincts or a perceived threat to its calf, posed a dire threat to the four-year-old boy. Nicole, with her immobilized body, could do nothing but witness the unfolding nightmare. In a miraculous turn, Nicole's brother, alerted by her desperate screams for help, rushed to the scene. He fired a gun into the sand to scare off the giraffe and protect Caden. The loud gunshot was a deterrent, causing the giraffe to retreat momentarily. During this critical moment, paramedics and family members rushed to the injured children for urgent medical care. Caden, while injured with skull fractures, was alive. Nicole, however, with spinal injuries and multiple fractured ribs, faced an agonizing wait for medical assistance. The severity of her condition required a helicopter airlift to the hospital, a process that took four long hours. As the medical response unfolded, 
Caden was taken to the hospital with Nicole's cousin. At the same time, Nicole's father rushed to meet Kaya and her aunt at the local doctor. Tragically, Kaya, despite the efforts to save her, took her last breath in her grandfather's arms. The devastating news of Kaya's passing was a profound blow to the family, compounding the physical and emotional wounds inflicted by the giraffe's attack. Nicole, in her paralyzed state, grappled with the weight of the tragedy. Her love for her children and the agony of losing Kaya intertwined with the physical pain she endured. The family, already shattered by grief, faced the challenge of breaking the soul-destroying news to Nicole, who, despite her injuries, longed for updates on her children's well-being. The aftermath of the attack revealed the extent of the injuries suffered by the Panos family. Nicole spent 23 days in the hospital, including 16 days in intensive care, with the daunting prospect of months of rehabilitation ahead. In addition to her paralysis, she grappled with multiple fractured ribs and internal organ damage. The toll on Caden was not just physical, but also emotional. The close bond between the siblings had been abruptly severed, leaving Caden to cope with the trauma of losing his sister and enduring his injuries. The family's attempt to rebuild their lives took on a new meaning as they navigated the complex terrain of grief, recovery, and an uncertain future. As the Panos family faced the aftermath of the giraffe attack, the once lively Kulini game park echoed with the sad echoes of tragedy. The memory of Kaya, the bright and joyful soul, lingered as a poignant reminder of a life cut short by a wildlife encounter gone wrong. The family, bound by love and sorrow, embarked on a journey of healing, determined to honor Kaya's memory and find solace amid the profound loss. The Panos family, determined to transform their grief into a lasting tribute, renamed the Kulini Game Park Forest Kaya's Forest. This decision reflected their desire for a living memorial, a vibrant testament to the spirit and joy Kaya brought into the world. In the face of tragedy, the family sought a way to remember Kaya as she was in life, steering away from traditional tombstones to celebrate her in the loving embrace of nature. Despite her physical and emotional challenges, Nicole found solace in her daughter's memories. Kaya, though on earth for a mere 15 months, radiated happiness and warmth, leaving an indelible mark on those around her. The family, sharing stories of dance parties in the kitchen and Kaya's delight in feeding the guinea fowl she affectionately called Cluck Clucks, found comfort in these cherished recollections. The profound loss of Kaya cast a shadow over the Panos family's envisioned period of joy and family togetherness. Jason, Nicole's husband, had been working in the USA during the incident. Their hope for six months abroad, seeking financial stability and more family time, took a tragic turn. Navigating the challenges of rehabilitation, Nicole reflected on the privilege of being Kaya's mother and the profound impact the little one had during her brief time on Earth. Nicole acknowledged the difficulty of finding peace with what transpired, emphasizing that while understanding exists, making peace with the tragedy might remain an ongoing struggle. Reflecting on the tragic incident, Nicole Panos deeply understood the giraffe's instinct to protect its calf. She emphasized that despite her family posing no threat to the gentle giants, the unpredictability of the animal kingdom meant that a mother's protective instinct could be swiftly triggered, leading to unforeseen consequences. Meanwhile, Caden, having endured the trauma of the incident, requires ongoing monitoring due to the fractures in his skull. The family, grappling with the physical and emotional toll of the tragedy, faces urgent financial needs to cover the extensive medical expenses incurred during Nicole and Caden's treatment and recovery. In response to the pressing financial challenges, a GoFundMe page was established to support the Panos family's recovery journey. The page, seeking assistance for Nicole's rehabilitation and Caden's medical care, quickly garnered widespread support. The outpouring of generosity from friends, well-wishers, and strangers alike saw the fund surpass $33,500, marking a significant stride towards their $120,000 goal. The funds raised stand as a testament to the compassion and solidarity of the community, offering a glimmer of hope amid the family's challenging circumstances. The Panos family, buoyed by the support received, remains grateful for every contribution recognizing the significance of collective empathy in navigating their path to healing. The funds, vital for covering ongoing medical expenses and facilitating recovery, serve as a lifeline for Nicole and Caden during this trying period. 
As the GoFundMe campaign continues to resonate with compassionate individuals eager to make a positive impact, it embodies the power of community solidarity in the face of adversity. As the Panos family forged on their healing path, they clung to the memories of Kaya's sunshine-like presence and the love she brought into their lives. In the heart of the Blyde Wildlife Estate near Hoodsprout, South Africa, the Williams family, comprising Katie, Sam, and their three-year-old son, Finn, have lived immersed in the enchanting landscape of this nature reserve. As dedicated scientists with post-PhD expertise in animal-related fields, Katie and Sam actively contributed to the conservation efforts of the estate, delving into the intricate dynamics of its diverse wildlife. The estate, renowned for its serene ambience and varied fauna, served as a home and a workplace for the Williams family. Nestled amidst hills and nature reserves, the estate offered a picturesque backdrop for their daily lives. Katie, a scientist with a passion for understanding animal behavior, and Sam, equally immersed in the world of wildlife, found solace in their connection with nature. The incident occurred on a typical Monday at 6 p.m. as the family awaited Sam's return from his evening trail run in the hills surrounding the reserve. Unbeknownst to them, the encounter with a giraffe would soon disrupt the tranquility of their routine. The giraffe, accompanied by a two-month-old calf, unexpectedly exhibited aggression, leading to events that would later stir emotions and garner support from their community. Amidst the lush surroundings of the Blyde Wildlife Estate, the family's familiarity with the terrain and its inhabitants underscored their deep connection with the natural world. Little did they anticipate the unusual events that would test their resilience and determination in the face of nature's unpredictability. This idyllic setting, once the backdrop of the family's daily life and scientific pursuits, now serves as a poignant reminder of the inherent challenges and harmonies of living near wild animals. On that fateful Monday evening, the Williams family's routine took an unexpected turn as the sun dipped below the horizon. The tranquil setting, which had witnessed countless moments of harmony between humans and wildlife, suddenly became the stage for a harrowing encounter. Having spent a leisurely afternoon near their home, Katie, Sam, and Finn awaited Sam's return from his trail run. Little did they know that the giraffe, accompanied by its two-month-old calf, felt threatened and agitated. The vast expanse of the estate, usually a haven for residents, and the diverse wildlife it harbored turned into an arena of unpredictability. In the face of imminent danger, the giraffe, driven by its instinct to protect its young, launched a vicious attack on Katie and Finn. The serene ambiance was shattered by the sudden eruption of chaos, leaving the family grappling with the unforeseen aggression of an animal they had coexisted with for so long. The giraffe's long neck, usually an emblem of grace, became a formidable weapon as it directed its force toward Katie and Finn. Returning from his trail run, Sam was thrust into a life-altering moment of intervention. With swift and courageous action, he confronted the charging giraffe risking his safety to protect his wife and son. The specifics of the attack unfolded rapidly, each moment laden with tension and fear. The giraffe's powerful movements, driven by a perceived threat to its calf, resulted in injuries that would later necessitate extensive medical attention. In the wake of the startling giraffe attack, the Williams family found themselves thrust into a reality marked by pain, recovery, and an outpouring of support from their community. The incident, labeled by Sam as an unfortunate act of nature, echoed far beyond the tranquil bounds of the Blyde Wildlife Estate. Katie and Finn, both subjected to the giraffe's formidable force, underwent surgeries that aimed to mend the physical toll of the encounter. The marathon of medical interventions addressed injuries to Katie's shoulder, ribs, and facial wounds. At the same time, Finn, brave at just three years old, faced surgery on his hand and a series of CT scans and x-rays to assess the extent of his injuries. The critical but stable condition of both mother and son painted a picture of resilience amidst adversity. The medical teams, working tirelessly to provide the best care, witnessed progress in the early stages of their recovery. The Williams family, enveloped in a web of uncertainty, faced the days ahead with a spirit that transcended the boundaries of trauma. The Blyde Wildlife Estate, a community intimately connected with the rhythms of nature rallied around the Williams family. The estate manager, Rian Silliers, expressed shock at the tragic incident and extended assurances that the family remained in their thoughts and prayers. 
The intricate dance between humans and wildlife, a defining aspect of life on the estate, bore witness to a moment where the delicate balance was momentarily disrupted. As news of the incident reverberated, the broader conversation around human-wildlife interactions gained prominence. The giraffe, renowned for its grace and towering presence, unwittingly symbolized the complexities inherent in sharing spaces with wild animals. The notion that nature in all its splendor could harbor unexpected threats left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness. Amidst the challenges, the Williams family appealed for privacy, urging the public and media to respect their arduous journey. Family photographs, poignant reminders of happier times, offered glimpses into a life altered by an encounter that defied expectations. The legal aspect of the aftermath fell under the purview of Marina Botha from Botha and Lovegrove attorneys in Hoodsbrut. As the family grappled with the physical and emotional toll of the giraffe attack, the legal framework surrounding such incidents added another layer of complexity to their journey toward recovery. Amid the uncertainty, the Williams family, with Katie's scientific expertise and Sam's resilient spirit, embarked on a path marked by healing and gradual restoration. Intertwined with the intricate dance between humanity and the wild, their story echoed the profound interconnectedness that defines life on the Blyde Wildlife Estate. Amidst the aftermath of the tragic giraffe attack that befell Katie and Finn Williams on the Blyde Wildlife Estate near Hoodsbrook, a poignant chapter unfolded with the passing of the two-month-old giraffe. The creature, the offspring of the giraffe involved in the attack, succumbed nearly two weeks after the incident, casting a shadow of sorrow over the already distressing situation. In a statement released, the Blyde Estate confirmed the successful relocation of the mother giraffe to a new location. However, the younger giraffe did not survive the transfer, marking an unforeseen turn in the unfolding narrative. The estate manager, Rion Silliers, emphasized that all necessary precautions and legal requirements were meticulously adhered to during the relocation process. The estate staff and Silliers expressed collective devastation at the news of the younger giraffe's demise. Meanwhile, Katie and Finn Williams continued their recovery in a Johannesburg hospital. The latest update from the Blyde Estate, dated September 14, 2018, revealed encouraging progress in Katie's condition, with daily improvements noted. Despite the challenges, Katie communicated through writing sentences on paper. Though still under sedation, Finn exhibited signs of slow awakening as medication levels decreased. The complexity of the giraffe attack remained a focal point, with Silliers offering insights into the likely trigger. He suggested that the giraffe, accompanied by a two-month-old calf, may have perceived Katie and Finn as threatening her offspring, leading to the unprecedented attack. Notably, the estate lacked other potentially dangerous animals in the immediate vicinity. The Williams couple, scientists with post-PhD experience in animal-related fields, navigated the aftermath with resilience. The unpredictable nature of wild animal behavior, emphasized by the family and ciliers, underscored the challenges inherent in coexisting with nature. As the recovery journey unfolded, friends of the Williams family initiated a fundraiser to assist with mounting recovery costs. Dr. Kocheka Mufundisi, the neurosurgeon overseeing the treatment of both mother and son, provided insights into Finn's future surgeries, emphasizing their cosmetic nature to address the aftermath of the attack. Despite a brain injury, Mufundisi expressed optimism about the absence of long-term effects Jack Standish, Katie's father, praised the medical team's efforts and expressed gratitude for the global support from well-wishers. He highlighted the vigilance of Katie and Finn's bedsides during their sedation, underscoring the family's united front in facing the challenges posed by the giraffe attack. Standish, echoing sentiments shared by Dr. Sam Williams, Katie's husband, emphasized a compassionate perspective toward the giraffe, understanding the innate instincts of wild animals the family expressed reluctance toward any harm befalling the creature. The attack, seen through the lens of a protective mother reacting to perceived threats, added layers of complexity to the narrative. In the face of mounting expenses, Standish urged those willing to contribute to direct their support to the family's GoFundMe campaign, emphasizing the collective strength derived from prayers and messages of support from around the world. In the heart of Limpopo, on a tranquil game farm near Musina, a serene weekend took a tragic turn for the Visser Engelbrecht family. The vast expanse of the Mopan district, 
known for its sprawling landscapes and wildlife, provided the backdrop for an unimaginable incident that unfolded on Saturday, May 8, 2010. In the vast expanse of the Limpopo province, north of Zimbabwe, lies a landscape painted with grass-covered savannas adorned by scattered acacia trees atop rolling hills. Here, a diverse cast of wildlife engages in the delicate dance of predator and prey, where danger lurks in the fierce lions, cunning hyenas, and massive short-tempered elephants and rhinos. Amidst this untamed canvas, the giraffe, typically deemed comical and mild-mannered, stands as an iconic African presence. On this particular day, the Engelbrecht family embarked on a visit to a game farm, a celebration for Elsie's 50th birthday and the first wedding anniversary of Marike and Juan. The family gathered, immersed in the natural splendor of the game farm, where protected wildlife roamed freely, providing an opportunity for the sale of hunting rights to trophy hunters. While controversial, this practice served as a significant economic pillar for the local community, aiding in maintaining ecological balance. Marika Engelbrecht, a 25-year-old woman of striking beauty, cherished her two German shorthair pointers, Tasco and Joshua. Excitedly, she invited her canine companions for a walk, and their enthusiastic tail wags signaled their approval. Stepping onto the groomed trail, Marika surveyed her surroundings, vigilant for any signs of danger. The distant grazing elephants and a herd of giraffes revealed themselves, their long necks peering over the treetops. As Mariki strolled with her dogs, the trail wound through the giraffe herd. Initially, at a safe distance, the giraffes became a picturesque part of the landscape. However, unbeknownst to Mariki, a protective mother giraffe and her calf were present in the herd. The calm ambiance shifted when Tasco and Joshua, sensing the proximity of the calf, started barking and wagging their tails. Trying to steer her dogs away from the agitated mother, Mariki faced a rapidly approaching threat. In a protective instinct, she bent over her dogs, attempting to shield them from the approaching danger. The mother giraffe, undeterred, began a relentless advance, hooves striking the ground with force. The volley of kicks targeted the dogs, flinging them about with the impact of the giant hooves. During this chaotic defense, tragedy struck as one of the hooves caught Marik at the base of her skull, instantly ending her life. As her lifeless body crumpled to the ground, the leashes slipped from her limp hand. The loyal dogs, now distressed and barking, circled their fallen master, retreating from the brutal attack. Sensing the conflict, the giraffe herd swiftly moved away, leaving the scene to avoid further confrontation. The grief-stricken dogs, their leashes dragging in the dirt, retraced the short distance back to the farm, a silent witness to the sudden and devastating encounter with the untamed essence of the African wild. The family's awareness of the tragedy was heightened when one of the dogs, still tethered to its leash, returned to the house. Alarmed by the dog's unusual return, Hannes Visser, Marika's brother, and other family members searched for her in the veld. Their search led them to a heartbreaking discovery. Mariki lay lifeless, her neck broken, having succumbed instantly to the unforeseen attack. William Smith, a family member, emphasized that the giraffe did not trample her and that there were no apparent external injuries. As the family grappled with the shock and grief, trackers accompanied the police to the site of the incident. The tracks left by a mature giraffe and the separate tracks of its calf provided silent testimony to the tragic event. The trackers pieced together the unfolding of events from the imprints on the ground, unveiling the heartbreaking truth of Mariki's final moments. In the face of this unexpected tragedy, the family displayed remarkable resilience and a profound understanding of nature's unpredictable ways. The giraffe was neither blamed nor condemned and was not euthanized. The family, shattered by the loss of Marike, harbored no ill feelings toward the game farm owner or the mother giraffe. Marike, described as a nature lover at her happiest in the Veld, had given her life to protect her beloved dogs. Her untimely death was deemed a total freak accident a poignant reminder of the inherent unpredictability of life in the wild. As the news spread, tributes flowed in for Marika Engelbrecht, a particular person who had touched the lives of those around her. Despite the profound sorrow, there was a collective acknowledgement that her love for nature had defined her, making her final moments a testament to that passion. The family faced an uncertain journey ahead, compounded by the void left by Mariki's absence. As the echoes of her tragic end reverberated through Tsanin, preparations began for her final resting place.
Marika Engelbrecht would find her eternal repose in Sanin, leaving memories of a life in harmony with the untamed beauty of the South African wilderness. While the family grappled with the immediate aftermath of Mariki's passing, the authorities announced an impending inquest into her death. The unassuming game farm, once a backdrop for joyous family gatherings, now bears witness to a sad chapter in the annals of Limpopo's history. In the aftermath of the tragic incident on the game farm near Musina, the profound impact of the giraffe's powerful kick became starkly evident. Despite their elegant appearance, Giraffes possess a formidable ability to defend themselves, particularly when they perceive a threat to their young. The two German short-haired pointer dogs, Tasco and Joshua, bore witness to the giraffe's defensive instinct, sustaining bruises from the incident. In the wake of the tragedy, the family, alongside local authorities and trackers, pieced together the sequence of events from the tracks and marks on the ground. The giraffe, a creature known for its gentle herbivorous nature, demonstrated the ferocity of its kick, capable of shattering a lion's skull or breaking its spine, providing a glimpse into the raw power that nature wields. In this instance, it is believed that the giraffe became agitated and violent in a desperate attempt to protect its young calf, which had been walking nearby. Colonel Otto, the provincial spokesperson, described the incident as terrible, highlighting the giraffe's sharp and instinctive reaction to the perceived threat. The impact of the kick was deemed to be enormous, leading authorities to believe that Merike Engelbrecht died instantly from the force of the encounter. The encounter's dynamics underscore wild animals' unpredictability, even in the seemingly serene setting of a game farm. Although primarily subsisting on leaves, giraffes have robust legs that can deliver crushing blows when they feel threatened. As the investigation unfolded and the community grappled with the loss of a beloved member, the narrative surrounding Marika Engelbrecht's tragic encounter with the giraffe expanded beyond a personal tragedy. It became a poignant exploration of the delicate balance between humanity and the untamed wilderness, emphasizing the importance of cohabiting with nature while respecting its inherent unpredictability. In the wake of this incident, the community contemplated the shared spaces with wild animals acknowledging the potential risks of residing near these creatures. Merik's untimely passing while a sad event spurred conversations about wildlife conservation, safety protocols, and the complex dance between humanity and the natural world.